Now, most people seem to think that the Wizard King, Julius Nova Chrono, is probably the most powerful mage in all of Black Clover and the history of Black Clover. Time Magic is pretty overpowered for sure, but I do really think that he isn't even the most powerful Wizard King that, that we've ever seen. That would have to be the first Wizard King, a man whose name we unfortunately do not know yet, and also, unfortunately, to properly explain to you guys why the first Wizard King is stronger than Julius, I have to delve into some manga spoilers, but there won't be that many, but still, I'm warning you guys, there will be manga spoilers. If you guys do like this video, please do leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to be notified every time I upload a Black Clover video. Alright guys, so first let's go over the first Wizard King and what we know of him. The first Wizard King has a four-leaf clover grimoire. That's like the first thing we know about him. That's why he's so special. He has the four leaf clover grimoire that is super rare. Also, we see in the fight of when he fights the demon to save the clover kingdom that he has light magic. This is shown in episode three, and light magic is one of the most powerful and rare affinities. So we got a dude who has a four leaf clover grimoire and has light magic. That's pretty lucky from that start as well. And also, guys, he has and a huge amount of mana. So, from what, even the you anime only, if you stick with this video, you've seen that people like the Captains, the Royals, the uh, Fake Lick Patri, Raya, Veto, Fauna, all the Third Eye, they have an extremely high amount of mana. Well, we see Real Licked in the manga, and he has a ungodly amount of mana. And he's not even fully reincarnated yet. And the first Wizard King has mana that rivals Prime Lit. That is insane to have that much mana. Mana that he can naturally float his allies. And that's not even fully reincarnated Lit. So it is possible that the first Wizard King has even more mana than Lit does in the reincarnated version of Lit. So we have the Wizard King who has the Four Leaf Clover Grimoire, Light Magic, and an ungodly amount of mana. Far more mana than the Royals. Combine all three of those, and you got an unstoppable force. And if he fights Julius, well, the first Wizard King is gonna be way faster than Patri was, have way stronger light magic, and light magic is a weakness to time magic. And he's gonna have way more mana, just like Patri did. And I would actually really totally see the first Wizard King defeating Julius Novo Chrono. And now also, other things we need to talk about is the first Wizard King fought the Demon, and the Demon was very powerful. It could use all different magic types, or I should say, it can use at least four different magic types at once. Um, it was very, very powerful, and so powerful, in fact, that not even the Royals, who had just stolen mana from all the Elves, could fight it off. They needed the Wizard King to do it. So we have all these Royals with now this Elven level of mana, but they couldn't even fight this Demon? So potentially you have 10, 15 captain level mages that were crap against this demon, theoretically, as the Wizard King was the only thing that could stop him. Yeah, that really shows off the power of the first Wizard King. We also need to remember here, this is probably the early career of the first Wizard King. He became the Wizard King after this. Interestingly enough, if you have the Four Leaf Clover Grimoire, you get stronger over short periods of time because of that luck. Just like Yuno, just like Patri. So if we go to like Prime Wizard King, this probably isn't even Prime Wizard King here. So if he's even stronger, he's gonna be even further stronger than Julius. And I would really just say that the first Wizard King is probably the most powerful mage we've ever seen in Black Clover. Probably even more powerful than Prime Licked. This is an insane amount of power. He has everything going for him. And he's probably a good fighter as well, I mean, I mean, the Wizard King is based on getting merit, but he probably has a high amount of quality experience and fighting spells. Now again, I'm going to go over again why the first Wizard King is so powerful. Hopefully we get more lore on the Wizard King. I bet we will soon, before this arc is completely over. And then I'll actually be able to give even more explanation of how strong he is. But he has a four-leaf clover grimoire. He has light magic and an amount of mana that rivals Prime Lick. And he was able to fight the demon when the royals could not and defeated the demon he has very powerful light magic he was able to bind the demon and then kill him with a giant sword just what we've seen of the first wizard king 
I would place him as the most powerful mage we've ever seen. And he serves as the bard that Asta and Yuno do need to surpass. Now, of course, Julius is that bard as well, but I do think that Asta and Yuno, by the time of the end of the series, that they will both be the two most powerful mages ever. And I think they will surpass the first Wizard King through their own different ways. But that's my thoughts, guys. Let me know down below. Did I educate you on how strong the first Wizard King is? Did you think he was this strong? Did you think that Julius was stronger than before? Or do you still disagree with me and still think that Julius could defeat the first Wizard King? Let me know your thoughts down below. Please do leave a like and subscribe. And also turn on notifications to be notified every time I upload a Black Clover video. Links down below, guys. Join my Discord and follow me on Twitter. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. Plus...